But if you slice a golf ball, you're a very frustrated golfer for two reasons. You don't get much power into your shot. You don't really know where the ball is going to go, how much slice, how much bend on the banana ball, so where to aim. And of course, that's no way to go around a, a golf course. Now, understanding what happens is part of the cure. You have to see that when you slice a golf ball, the first of three things that happen is the club face is definitely open at the impact position. So let's have a look how you can fix that. Look first to your grip. If your grip gets too much around this way, where your right hand is on top of the club and your left hand underneath it, that's a slicer's problem. If you've got a neutral grip and you're still hitting slice shots, then look to what happens to the forearms through impact. You're probably pushing through like this with the forearms having no crossover whatsoever, leaving the club face open. Again, that's a slicing problem. The open club face, of course, isn't the only thing that's happening in a slicer's golf swing. There's also the way in which the club is swinging down the line. So often for a slicer, the club swinging across the line of play this way, which sets up a glancing blow. And the, the person who slices like this actually slices because they should hit pull shots down to the left. They get fed up with that, so they open the face as they go through. So it's a sort of in a chicken and an egg. Is it the face being open that causes you to come outside, or is it coming outside that causes the club face to open? You've got to fix them both, so let's go ahead and do that. And finally, when you see a slicer, they usually lose a lot of power because the club is coming down on the ball and creating a downward chop. Again, combining with the two other conditions, you have a slice. So if you check your grip, if you check your forearm rotation, and you make sure that the angle of your swing is in what's called a neutral plane, that's not too much up into the air and not too much behind you. Doesn't sound a lot, really. OK, perhaps it does sound a lot, but you need to go down on the range and practice it and put those feelings in so that when you tee up the ball on the course, you can trust that you can bring the club face square on the correct path and on the correct plane. Well, of course, that's working on the technique of the golf swing, and you must do that. But whilst you're doing so, you can get some relief from technology. You know, technology won't fix a slice condition. It just alleviates the pain from it. So with my fast track technology, I could move my weights around so that they're on one and two setting. And that would mean, of course, that I'm alleviating the pain, but I haven't finished the cure yet. I've got to work on the range as well.